It's official. The third annual Impy Awards show has been announced. The show will be live on Twitch on 27th of February and the nominations have now been and gone. The categories have changed again this year with the awards being distributed for the following. fantastic celebration of the community and its achievements, and the winners of the previous awards have received in-game badges as well as a physical trophy. There is a small difference this year with the nominations though. Dreamers have put forward their own names and creations for review rather than nominating other people. This should make no difference to the actual process however. As usual, the creations will be shortlisted by Media Molecule and the winner will be picked by the judges. A handful of awards will be judged by the community vote that will likely open up in January. An in-game hub will be available to play and there will be lots of celebrating in the week leading up to the event as it's Dreams birthday week. Since we last updated you, Dreams has had an upgrade. Dream Shaping Reshaped is the name. It has brought a whole host of UI improvements including quick access to all new templates from the start creating menu. Dreamer showcasing and an updated help section with QR codes linking to more useful information. The aim of the upgrade is to make the dream shaping menu more user friendly. We especially love the new templates that have been provided and we'll be sure to be diving into these at some point. These come with an empty starting point, assets to put in and it also has a demo playground and tutorial scenes that allow you to switch between playing and editing to complete certain learning objectives. You can now also preview audio from within a collection and a new scope tweak tool has been introduced for several create mode gadgets. This tool will allow you to tweak which gadgets interact with each other in a more targeted way. There have been many more improvements including bug fixes and Ancient Dangers A Bat's Tale has been released with a kit containing logic, characters, traps, ambience, collectibles and more for you to make your own versions of the game. The game itself is couch co-op. Embark on a perilous quest in search of the rare Snozleaf that is key to curing Granny's snoring to get a good night's sleep. Earn trophies as you play through the three chapters, slaying dragons and earning treasure on your way. December 3rd marked the 20th anniversary of Jack and Daxter the precursor legacy. To celebrate, Naughty Dog shared the game's original teaser trailer on their Twitter feed, to which one dreamer, Daz2009Holly, responded by sharing their dream's recreation of Sandover Village. The footage got incredible feedback from the community, including a response from Naughty Dog themselves. Our dream of the month this month goes to Red and the Cursed Isles by Red Sikatsu. Red and the Cursed Isles is staggering in terms of scale. It has platforming, combat, side quests, dungeons, boss battles, and an overview world you sail around. Multiple islands to visit, taverns, shops, NPCs, not to mention a fully voiced campaign story full of twists, turns, comedy, and drama. It's very clear that not only time, but a metric ton of passion has gone into this game. The whole thing took us over three hours to complete, and that's not even taking into account the post-game, yes, post-game content on offer. Honourable mentions go to The Tales from Dark Town, Red Zone, Cubo's Quest, Into the Wild, Gundamizer, Corrupt Escalation, the finalist demo,
Happy Jack, Enter the Abyss expansion. Recently, we made three videos about how we made our 15 minute horror experience. Yes, three videos about a 15 minute game. Out of Gas, which is now remixable in Dreams. If you would like to make your own game in Dreams, but don't quite know where to begin, check out our Project 4 video series and our collection of assets that we used in this project. Links to both are in the description below. Media Molecule has been making Christmas magic as part of the Christmas campaign for John Lewis. John Lewis has become well known for its annual festive advertising, which takes the form of a new heartwarming story year after year. This year, they've gone the extra step allowing their customers to virtually explore the environments used in the ad. Luke Harrison, executive producer at Yahoo, has confirmed they were able to make this experience by exporting videos and images from Dreams. Powered by Yahoo Edgecast, web visitors are able to explore the street and family home in which the story takes place. From there, they can download activity packs, AR characters, and click on items that can be bought from the John Lewis store. We personally think this is a very interesting external use for Dreams and demonstrates a way around the limitations to export options that are currently available. To celebrate the festive season, we have constructed a collection of our favourite Christmas games and scenes. This is both in-game and of course as a video on our channel. We urge you to go and check it out if you're looking for the best dreams to celebrate the season with. Big news for us, we have hit our 2000 subscriber milestone. To celebrate, we've made a little video to say thank you and we're also announcing our new Patreon page. After much persuasion, we have finally launched one. Go check out the video for more information and thanks again. Oh, and you may have noticed for the first time on a news video, you can see my face. Please let me know if this is distracting or doesn't add anything or whatever, as it is a little more work syncing up video and audio and stopping the cat from walking in front of the screen. Thank you.